East Texas family's trip to Disney World was barely underway when it ended in tragedy on a highway in North Louisiana. Five of the eight family members died in the crash that happened in Washita Parish, including both parents and three of their children. Three other kids survived, among them the driver, a 16 year old boy who authorities cited this morning for careless driving after it's believed he fell asleep at the wheel. WDSU reporter Andy Cunningham live now with more on this. Andy. It's got a truly heartbreaking story, as we know, one a lot of people are now following around the nation, following what can only be described as a horrific tragedy. More than 200 people gathered in this East Texas town Thursday night to remember five members of the Hardman family killed in Wednesday night's horrific crash on a North Louisiana highway. But the only thing that we can stand on in these times like this is simply prayer. The family of eight was traveling to Walt Disney World in Florida when just three hours into their dream adventure, their SUV veered off I-20 near Calhoun, killing Michael and Trudy Hardman, both school teachers from Terrell, Texas, their sons, 15-year-old Dakota and 7-year-old Adam, and their 4-year-old daughter, Casey. She had their whole vacation down to the minute of what they were going to do on what days. The couple's oldest child, 16-year-old Andrew Hardman, one of three survivors, likely fell asleep at the wheel, according to Louisiana State Police. A new driver, the teen was licensed, and on Friday morning was cited for careless operation of a vehicle. I, I think because uh, either he admitted it or there were witnesses that said he fell asleep, it's the duty of the police officers to, in fact, enforce the law. Seth Bloom, a criminal defense attorney in New Orleans who specializes in traffic related yeah, cases. I mean, unfortunately, in this tragic situation, although it's uncomfortable to assign some sort of blame, it seems to be probably necessary. Bloom points out careless operation is a misdemeanor offense and doesn't carry any criminal penalties. The teen may face a two to three hundred dollar fine and a mark on his driver's record. But Bloom added, due to the circumstances, it's even possible the case could be dropped. It is an honor to be standing here. Because in the minds of many, the loss of his parents and three siblings is punishment enough. You know what? They may not have made it to Disneyland, but I can promise you that those five made it to the Magic Kingdom. And two of the children were treated and released from the hospital, including the 16 year old driver. The third child this evening remains in a Shreveport hospital listed in critical condition. And Scott, police say just two of the eight in that SUV were wearing seatbelts. All right, Andy, thanks. I mean